Now in terms of medical treatment, you've got antidepressants. So your antidepressants such as your SSRIs are well known to delay ejaculation by increasing the serotonin levels in the brain. Examples of your SSRIs include dapoxetine, paroxetine, citalopram, acetalopram, sertraline and fluoxetine. These medications can be taken daily or as an on-demand treatment, i.e. whenever you're about to have sexual intercourse. However, there are pros and cons to using either daily or on-demand. For example, daily is shown to be more effective, whereas on-demand is not as effective, but you might have less side effects than if you took daily treatment. In terms of on-demand treatment, the most ideal SSRI to take, which is actually licensed for premature ejaculation, is called Dapoxetin, which is also known as Prilogy, which is a brand name in several countries. However, it is not approved in other countries, and you might find that you might need to take an alternative to Prilogy. This is a short-acting SSRI. It's usually taken as a 30 milligram or 60 milligram dose, one to three hours before intercourse. And it is known that this medication can increase intercourse times or delayed ejaculation by up to three or four times your usual time. So for example, if you're a one minute man, you can become an eight or even a 10 minute man with this medication. Now, in terms of alternative to dapoxetine, for those who are not able to take it for whatever reason, or if it's not available in your country, the next best option is to take paroxetine, which has been shown by studies to be the most effective SSRI when taken as a daily treatment. This is usually taken as a 20 or 40 milligram dose with the effect seen within two weeks. Now, in terms of the side effects of SSRIs, they can actually reduce sexual libido, which means that you might not have the desire to have sex. They can cause nausea, vomiting, fatigue, sleep disturbance and all of the symptoms. So medication is not always ideal for everyone to take. And some people are a bit worried about taking antidepressants, especially if they do not have any anxiety or depression. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and you want to see further similar videos, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe.